Hi, welcome everyone. A few days ago, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission announced that it has advised the Nigerian Immigration Service to inform them whenever the current governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, presents himself at any international airport in Nigeria to travel outside the country. That Willie Obiano has been placed in the EFCC watch list, which means that they will somehow prevent him from traveling outside the country until the EFCC operatives arrive at the airport to either arrest him or maybe question him. Of course, this scenario can only happen if he did not honor their invitation, which can only be after his tenure ends in March 2022, because governors in Nigeria enjoy immunity from arrest or prosecution. A sitting governor can simply not be subjected to this in Nigeria. So when this was made public, the governor, Willie Obiano, quickly replied the EFCC by reminding them that he had made it public a few years ago that he will be returning to his base in the United States after his tenure ends next year. Obiano is a former executive director in Fidelity Bank before becoming the governor of Anambra State. Obiano has been living with his family in the United States ever since. So it makes perfect sense for him to return to his family and base. Now to the reason EFCC put him on the watch list. The EFCC alleges that Obiano mismanaged the Paris club funds of Anambra State, including security votes. As you are aware, the federal government a few months ago shared billions of Naira among the 36 states and the federal capital territory as a refund for over deduction on the Paris club loan. The funds were shared in two tranches and Anambra State received about 17 billion Naira. So following the allegation of funds mismanagement, the EFCC invited some commissioners currently serving in Anambra State, including some principal officers, to conduct a thorough investigation about the allegation against Obiano. They also allege that what was on ground at the new International Cargo Airport in Anambra is not commensurate to the amount budgeted for it. You will see the budget in a moment. Investigators believe that the new International Cargo Airport in Anambra was used as a conduit pipe to launder money. The cost of building the airport has always been a subject of controversy. Initially, the Anambra state government had a plan to build an aerotropolis which would have cost a whopping $2 billion. An airport city that comprises the airport itself, shopping malls, industrial parks, and airport hotels all within the airport vicinity. It was an ambitious project when it was revealed in 2017. They had many partners, both foreign and local, for the airport project. It was supposed to be executed under a build, operate, manage and transfer agreement. But the airport city project was cancelled because it seemed that the Chinese partner wasn't up to the task in terms of sourcing funds for the project. After the cancellation, it looked like the construction of the airport wouldn't materialize anymore. But the government persevered. They decided to scale down the airport to a manageable budget that the state can afford. Because it's not easy to get funding for an airport project, even in Western countries, especially when there are airports in close proximity to Anambra in Asaba, Imo, and Enugu states. In fact, the airport in Imo is a cargo airport just like the one of Anambra state. In order to get funding, a lot of feasibility studies will need to be done to prove the viability of the airport. Experts must guarantee return on investment before funding can be approved. Apart from the airport project being a campaign promise of Obiano, majority of Anambrarians find it hard to swallow the fact that Anambra State doesn't have its own airport. The Anambra State economy can truly support and make the new airport viable, considering the fact that 
the Anambra business community already utilizes the nearby airports for their business activities. Diverting the huge traffic to the new Anambra International Airport will definitely get it going on a profitable note. Also, people traveling to Anambra from cities in Nigeria and the world can make the journey directly when they know that there's an airport instead of flying to a nearby airport and completing the journey by road. On how the government set out to build the airport without funding from any financial institution, after the scale down of the airport, a budget was made. A budget of 6 billion naira for the airport was captured in the 2020 budget of Anambra State. According to the first plan, the airport was supposed to have two runways, but it was scaled down to just one runway, leaving the second one for future expansion. So as you can see, the airport isn't bad at all, considering the 6 billion naira budget. It has the second longest runway in Nigeria, but it is the second budget for the airport that a lot of people are questioning. And it might be the reason for these allegations. The Anambra International Airport has a budget of 10 billion naira in the 2022 Anambra budget. So it raises a lot of questions. What will the 10 billion naira be used for? Since the airport has been completed and commissioned, although not yet operational, on the 2022 budget, the 10 billion naira is listed for the completion of Anambra International Airport. What is there to complete again when the airport was recently commissioned? Are they owing some contractors? Or is it for additional projects in and around the airport? Even if it is, will the new projects cost more to build than the airport itself? Well, the government needs to make these expenditures very transparent in order to clear all doubts about mismanagement. Because if some of these expenditures are not commensurate to what is on ground, it gives room for suspicion, which in turn leads to allegations. Anambra State just recently concluded elections and you know politicians, anything can happen. Anything can happen from the government in power and from those in opposition. Because it is obvious that the actions of the EFCC are based on the petition they received. Yes, that's how they operate. If they receive a petition against someone, they try and investigate the allegations to determine if it is true. If there is evidence that shows culpability, they now take it from there. What the governor should do is to make all information about these allegations public. It is public money that was spent after all. EFCC announcing that someone is on their watch list doesn't look professional. Is going public meant to frighten Obiano? Clear conscience, they say, fears no accusation. Before operatives should go public about someone they are after, they should be quite sure that the person is on the run. If they are sure the person is on the run, they can now go public and even declare him wanted. There's no doubt that the EFCC are doing a great job, but sometimes they overdo certain things out of maybe the zeal or passion to get things right which is understandable, but on the other hand, it might look like it has a political undertone. The Anambra State House of Assembly should do the needful and question the executive arm on why a fresh 10 billion naira should be spent on a completed airport project. Yes, the time is now because the budget has not been passed. Although all budget expenditures are estimates, like this Anambra 2022 budget that is based on $50 per barrel of crude oil sales. But the executive arm knows how to prioritize projects. They know that once the budget is passed and it is signed into law, it has become law. So they will surely find a way to get funds for it once it is already budgeted for. Let the State House of Assembly scrutinize the first 10 billion naira budget for the airport. They should remember that there are many sectors where the huge amount could be spent in Anambra State to improve the lives of citizens they represent. On the other hand, if the government doesn't owe contractors, the airport should be put to use as it is. There's no need for an immediate expansion until there's a need for it, like when the main terminal will become too small for the passengers or when the traffic has increased to a level that a second runway will be inevitable. 
just like every other business. If they can operate the airport as it is, there's no need for an immediate expansion until they can break even. Alright, wonderful viewers, we hope you enjoyed this video. Have you subscribed to our channel? Click the subscribe button now as it is coming up. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye.